fasting day you're not fasting to starve yourself because our ministry have a different type of believing system about eternity so I don't want you to fast and and starve yourself If you're hungry, go get something to eat. We don't want any weak person in our ministry. We don't want it down there targeting the worm them eating out the walls. Your mouths are frothing and you're crying for hunger. Because our God will never cause you to suffer to get any blessing from him, isn't it? So not because we say we're going to fast in that no means you must dead if you're hungry. If you're hungry, go buy a cup of soup. Because me myself eat one big plate of food this morning. So I don't want to be strong up here and you're weak down there. You're with me? Let us pray for a moment. Let us pray to all eternity. Raise the right hand. Hold up your head. Focus on God. Meditate on the divine. Meditate on the true and living Father. Meditate on the greatness of life. The mountains, the valley, the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, the horses in the mountains. Focus on some great moments of life. The first time you achieve your master's, your degree, your diploma, your PhD, the moment you hear that you pass the, the CXC, focus on some greatness. The day you open your first business, the day you're happily married, the day you meet your first love. Focus on some mighty things, some successful things in the past. Let the successful things birth a great things in the future. Great moments of life. The day when you meet your first car, be the owner of the first SUV. The day when you get the house key, the first house in my life. Your dream come to reality. The day when you put on your prettiest hairstyle, isn't it? The day when you walk out to be a good man, a great woman, a successful child. The day when you achieve your honors. Let the power of God reign victorious. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Today we serve the Lord, he is our refuge and our fortress. In our God, so shall we trust. Say after me, indeed Satan is bound. Principalities and all powers. Rulers of darkness. Wicked spirits. Dark spirit. 
blind spirit, crippled spirit, spirit, all sick spirit, all poverty spirit. Today we declare and decree they all bound through the divine Holy Father. And today we lose ourselves for the glory of eternity. We lose ourselves for the glory of the Lord. Today we shall live and declare that we are a true child of the living God. Now and forever, indeed, goodness and mercy, blessings and honor, glory and power, good health and long life, increase and more than enough, shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of my Father, henceforth and forevermore. So shall it be. Clap. There's a place. Come on, clap for the Lord. Let us sing. Just wave your hand. Just sing to the Lord. Wave your two hands for victory. Give it me the more than you do. And if the ride is more than you do. There's a place for people like you. Abu Sada, build the top to grow the communities. No less the boys to go to Canaan. To the shine, to the light. There is a place for people like you. Sing with me. When you get there, there's a hand to hold. Love you, please. Can you play dark? There's a place out there for people like you. Don't you call it the heart of the sea. The dark is a pain to do a sea. The dark is a pain to do a sea. There's a place. For people like you, when you get there's a hand to hold. There is a place. Ababosa. There is a wonderful place for people like you. There is 
there's a place. There's a Lord Almighty. You may all be silly. You may all be silly. Everywhere you go in life, there is someone there to give you a helping hand. To all circumstances. If you go at the bank, you have the security guard just standing at the door waiting to escort you throughout the, the company. They will inform you the details, the rules and stipulations of the company. They will inform you all the details of all the productions that are going on through that company. If you go to flow, you have a security guard at the door, or you will have some important workers to instruct you along life journey. Instruct you how to fill out the forms, how to get your phone contact, connect, internet connect, and they will show you the stipulations how to face life with the telephone. Wherever you go in life, in this life and life to come and life after, there is someone there to meet you along life journey. Today I want to talk to you on this powerful topic, the mystery of meeting your Savior. The mystery of meeting your Savior. You look fine today, you look grown up, you look great. Some of you are 20 years old, some 40 years old, some 70 years old, but you wasn't like that before. You was a little child, a little baby. After, before you become a little baby, you was a little liquid. A liquid energy, sparkles, DNA that flow from your father straight to your mother. A man has 25% of life within himself. And a woman has 75% of life within himself within herself. Majority always come. So the power of nature, the divine Holy Father, instruct nature of life to transform and transfer life of 25% from a man to a woman. So the being of life can convert itself in one body. When nature of life is eager a man to transform a 25% to a woman. He can't control himself. He will not sleep. He will not eat. He will jump the walls. He will run through cow pens. Wherever the woman is, he will find her. Some of the time, the women are so wicked. They don't want to give up. The man have to pay money. Or sometimes a man has to take care of her for two, two months, three months before he can enter the gates of heaven. But nature of life ordered him to release, isn't it? But the woman says her belly is empty. She needs food. She needs two pieces of KFC first. You have to buy one machine, buy a bed, buy a flat screen TV. Whatever you take for a man to release, he will transfer, isn't it? Sometimes it's the last pay he gets for the month, and he have to give her all of it, just to obey nature of life, to give the 25%. He walked to work without money. Well, she get the 25% plus his money, isn't it? It's amazing how woman is nice but wicked sometimes. The energy liquid engraft power of the divine 
that caused life to start to call itself from divine power of eternity. Life is amazing. Life is great. Life is splendid. Awesome. Life is a great asset that comes from yonder, elsewhere. Life comes from a place that man cannot imagine where life comes from. But there is, there is levers, dimensions where life flows in power. Life don't appear one day. Life takes years to appear, months to appear. You can say you're born on the 1st of January because life don't born one day. Life takes years to create because life is in the man for years. Life is in the woman for years. Then the man life have to come together to form the life in the woman for the child to come alive. When life start to call particles of itself to form bodies, the, the doctor say it will take nine months. Some say it takes seven months. The doctor have the, the, the outer dark method that they said, oh, when last you see your cycle, then you said, I see my cycle last week. You say, okay, then you will have the baby on the 14th of next week. Year or whatever time they will tell you. But they are not sure of the perfect day. They will just give you their opinion, isn't it? So after life thought to transform itself together and call particles together, life just don't form itself in one body one day. Because the head comes from a different dimension. The eye comes from a different dimension. The hands come from different dimensions. The feet come from different dimensions. And this is why when a man die and leave and go on yonder, the head will go back to where it come from. The foot will go back. The eyes will go back. But some of the particles of the person who pass will leave behind because the DNA of the person will leave in the house. If the person used to sleep on the bed, the DNA of the head or the foot or the belly, whatever DNA leave behind, that particles will leave behind. And that's why when people see they see, they see a ghost, they only see the head. Maybe the head, the hat that the person used to wear in the house, the DNA of the, the person that passed is still in the hat. Until you burn that hat, that person's head will always show up in the house. And anyone who wear that hat will catch a generation curse because the same sickness that the dead man or the dead woman used to have, the same sickness is in the DNA, is in the hat. If you put on the hat on a man who has a blind problem, then you're going to be also blind. If you wear the hat of a dead man and a man used to have a head problem, you're also going to have a head problem. They call it the generation curse. Grandma died and leave her bed behind, but they don't throw away her bed. So auntie come sleep in the bed. Uncle come sleep in the bed. Auntie come sleep in the bed. The DNA of dead grandma leave behind with her arthritis, her cancer cells that she used to have. Now all the family that sleep in the bed start to have the generation curse of the dead grandma. So grandma died with cancer. Auntie now start to have cancer. Uncle now start to have cancer. Sister now start to have cancer. This is how the generation curse appear in the family. It's not good to wear dead people clothes. Clap if you want to clap and don't take me. If you're giving me a good clap, just don't fake, just clap. <laughs> don't let a woman say she's gonna give you something until she's gonna think about it. It's fake, she's faking you. Don't think about nothing. If you're giving me, give me. <laughs> you don't want to think about nothing. Make up your mind. 
If I don't give you money, I give you money. Give you a house, I give you a house. If you don't give me, give me. Give me a clap. <laughs> yes. yes, I feel motivated. When you clap me, I feel like I'm saying something good, isn't it? Yes, feel motivated. So it's not good to wear dead people clothes. Not because you love them, you care about them, the dress that they leave behind is nice. But once they wear the clothes, the DNA and the sickness and the generation curse will never leave that clothes. It stay in that clothes as long as that clothes is there. It's not good to throw away dead people clothes. You must burn them as you go through life journey. If you look at generations, you'll find some generation that this family travel with arthritis. This family travel with sugar. This family travel with blindness. At the rich 40 years old, they're blind. This family trouble with bleeding nose. At the rich certain age, the nose bleed. This family trouble with belly problem. And all the generation trouble with the same problem because when someone die, they refuse to throw away the dead clothes. They wear the same dead clothes and attract the same sickness, the same curse that the family that pass receive. Today, don't wear dead people clothes, no matter how you love them. Because that sickness, that DNA, will never leave you for the rest of your life. The mystery of meeting your Savior is unpredictable. The mystery of meeting your Savior is unpredictable. You don't know who you'll meet. You don't know who will ascend to you. You don't know who assigned to you. All you know, someone on the other side is waiting for you. You have party in this life. You have celebration in this life. When you pass, your family and the next side call each other who pass before you and they have party for you. They meet you. They greet you. When someone flow from that dimension to this dimension through mama, the mother will call auntie and say, baby born, isn't it? Then the baby will call daddy and say, daddy, where you are? Daddy says, I'm downstairs in the car. The nurse will call and say, the baby, wake up. And all the family, you'll see 15, 14, 20 family members want to greet the one little baby. The baby don't have any senses yet. The eyes don't open yet. But he get kisses from all uncles. Someone will meet you. People like you. Prepare for someone to meet you. Because they're always waiting on the other side. Great people. Successful people. Wonderful people. Want to escort you on the other side. Don't be afraid. Milk is in the breast of the mom, macha. They usher you while you pass your life journey. You're not alone, Yahabosa. There is a place where people are. And when you reach there, someone will hold you, someone will hug you. Someone will kiss you, a loving kiss. And the the There's a place for a people like you. Sing with me. One 
wonderful goal. But when you get there, there's someone to greet you. I believe in the there's a place up where people lie. There's a place up there where people like you. There's a place, my child. There's a wonderful place. There is a place. Once a man, twice a child. But when you get there, there is a hand. There is a place. This place of the where people like you. Just wave your hands. I know you're up there. There's a place of the where people like you. Someone up there waiting for you. Someone up there. Waiting for you. You may don't know where you're going. You don't know what next. You don't know what form, what image you're going to look like. But all I know, there's a place up there for people like you. And when you get there, there is a hand to hold. You grown up, all right. You're looking nice today. But you don't know where you was going when you was in a mother womb. But a great man escorts you to this natural world. For the first time, you're seeing the sign of sunlight. Transforming yourself in marvelous image of the greatness of eternity, the power of eternity, the image of the Almighty God. You are now in the image of your Father. You're wonderfully made. You're perfectly made, delivered in the hands of perfect parents, perfect mother, and perfect father. Breast milk prepared for you before you even come out of the womb of your mama to show you that God prepared a great presentation for you. You have some little idiot husband will want to take the milk from the baby. But sometimes they will say it don't taste good, isn't it? Because it, God didn't make the milk for the man. He made it for the baby. So when it's fresh, that don't mean it was for you. It is sweet for the child. So you crave a man, you be careful how you take possession of what don't belong to you. Isn't it? You don't want to eat food, you don't want to drink cornmeal porridge. All you want is you want to taste the milk of the child. Don't steal a child inheritance. The milk is just for the newborn. The one that just enter the world of greatness. Transform itself in a wonderful asset city. The lady in Lindsay 
to the prophet, my husband, he claims one of the breasts, and my daughter claims one. And you see the both of them fighting in the night for their position. And the husband will say, put her on that side. That burden is for her. And put me on this side. Loving husband. But crave in mentality. Isn't it? <laughs> you don't know your parents on the next side. You don't know the hands that will hold you. You don't know the roads that you'll go through, the channels, the transition that you'll go through. A, a caterpillar didn't know that he'll go through a channel to be a butterfly. The butterfly didn't know that he'll be a channel to be a bigger bat. The bigger bat didn't know that it'll be a channel to be a lizard. The lizard didn't know that it'd be a channel to turn a bird. But all of these birds that you're looking at is coming from a little worm, a caterpillar. Maybe a next type of worm. But you just don't be like a bird. You're coming from the earth, from worm stage, insect stage, and change in life journey as you go along. Life is wonderful. Life is greatly successful. The power of God will reign victorious once you focus on the divine part of the Holy Father. God didn't place you upon this earth by yourself. God didn't place you upon this earth forever, one place. There's levers in God. Dimensions in God that He will take you to life journey. All of you today will transform yourself in marvelous assets. Greatness. Great success. It pleased the power of God. It pleased the presence of God for his people to describe that God is in the image and likeness just like his people. But it displeased the presence of God. When people start to walk around and say they're not ready to call upon their father. They are not in the image and likeness of their father no more. It displeased God to know that you confess every day that you're in sin and shape in iniquity. The marvelous God. The wonderful, royal, great assets. The God of all God will never place his people in sin and form them in iniquity. That's not in the DNA of our Father. God will never let his people born in disgrace. God will never let his people born to be dismayed before the generations. God loves his people. He adore you. And who God love, he show them off. He chasten you. He bless you. He glorify you. He adore you. When God starts to adore his people, everything about your life will change. The presence of God is more dangerous than bleach. 
When God's presence is on your life, you don't need cartel blow soap. You don't need the bleaching cream. Every morning you just wake up and see your face and get transformed. Transformed. You don't need no bag of food no more. The presence of God just start put on little hip, just start put on muscles, start to show you off in His glory. You start to realize that your, your fingers used to be black and ugly, and all of a sudden your fingers start to get refined. Your toe, what used to look like some crocus bag toe, your, 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 your toe, them, so things start to transform in you because the presence of God is with you. But when the presence of God is not with you, You're ugly, you're miserable, you're angry, you're frustrated, you're easily to give up, you can't bother, you can't take it no more. But when the presence of God is upon your life, even when a chuck load of sand crawl on your bridge, you stand up saddle like a rock and fall like ice. Your determination start to rise to higher heights. You start to gain strength in a time of weakness. You start to gain courage in a time of disgrace. Because the presence of God is always with you. Be firm. Be positive. Be courteous. Stay focused on the positiveness of God. Let God be God in your life. And let man be man. Stop treat God like man. And stop treat man like God. Some of you will say to yourself, God, I don't know why you let me meet this mother. I want to change a mother, isn't it? Some of you wish your grandma was your mama. Some of you wish your auntie was your mama. Some of you wish your neighbor was your mama. But today you don't choose who greets you on the other side. You don't choose who will give you the breast milk on the other side. You don't choose who will grow you up, who will take you from strength to strength. All we know, someone up there is waiting for you. When you go to a new company, they will start to teach you the ways of the company. They said on Monday morning you have to pack the shelf because Monday is more busy than Tuesday. They will tell you this time, 12 o'clock you'll have to take lunch. They tell you by 2 o'clock there's a peak even people start rushing for grocery. They will tutor you to show you this is how the company runs so you grow up and you adapt the principles of the company. When you grow on the other side, they will tell you, you will stay with us because over the next side is a bad demon, them is a bad spirit. Because just like you see this time run on the next side, you have the same thing. You have high class atmosphere. You have low class atmosphere. You have ghetto atmosphere with dangerous devices. So you have to know where to walk, who to talk to, who associate yourself with. Because where the baby come from it was still dangerous from where she's going. Don't believe the child is coming from yonder and it was just a smooth sailing. Some of you were here 14 times before. Some of you were here 15 times. Some of you were here 10 times. 
Some of you were here eight times. Even sometimes you go to some place, your, your mindset will tell you, it looked like I was here before. Because it, it starts to pick up that something showed me that I was on the earth before this time. But you cannot know because there is an enmity in your heart, so you can't know the works of the Almighty, the works of the Divine Holy Father. But knowledge will tell you life transform in many particles, and life will go in many particles. <clears throat> so, the truth of the fact. None of you have a birthday because none of you truly know when you're born. Because life you don't born one day. When life enters the body of the woman, maybe she will start vomit. She don't like certain type of colognes. She feel nauseous in the morning. Life enter and while life enter her features change along the journey of the nine month when the first life enter then she will love a lot of pepper isn't it the first month because pepper open the eyes of the child pepper everything she eats she won't pepper then in the, the second month, she won dirt. Even if the dirt dirty, the dirt wet, the dirt sand up, she won dirt. Dirt is the heart of the child. So mama have to eat dirt, or she eat ashes, or she eat fire coal, or she eat some permanent bush. Woman eat some dirty things. After the hands start to appear, then she start to change to a different feeling. She want milk, isn't it? For the bones them to join together. She need a lot of milk, cheese, milk products. Then the head appear. She want different stuff. She don't like milk no more. When the sensation of a heart, kidney, and these things start to appear, then she changed from her cologne system. If she, if she smell your cologne, it trigger her off. She can't take your cologne because life has better enter in her in a different dimension. Reach five months. The genetic to sort of pay. She don't like her husband no more. As he reached the gate, she fling a stone at the gate. You have to run for rescue. He sleep in your car for the rest of the nine months. I know baby mama who would cause the husband to sleep in your car for the whole nine months. He can't enter the house. She's cross. She's vicious. And if she, he is giving her money, he have to leave it on the veranda and run off. Until she have the baby, he will, she will never like him again. It's not that he is not a good husband. It's that the genetic in her. Change her momentum of life. People don't like you not because you're not bad. It's because what is going on inside of them. And they're inside. So you'll never see life appear one day. It takes months, years for life to appear. When a child born out of the womb of the mama, they may be celebrating their two years birthday, or their three years birthday, or the month and a half, the, the year and a half birthday. Because life don't born one day. Take time to come alive. Life don't die one day. 
You just don't get up and die. It takes years for you to die. The moment a child born today, death starts to pay. The more you eat good, the more you, you, you put your body at rest, is the more you build walls among Mr. Death so death don't creep up to you. Some of you take 20 years before you die. Some take 40 years upon the earth before they die. Some take 96 years. Some take 70 years. It takes time for life to take away from you little by little by little. So the, the more you put on your shoes is the more you give away your life. The more clothes you wear is the more you give away your life. Because life don't have time to charge up with the sun. Because the sun and the earth charge up your life. A man that go for one year without touch the earth with his bare foot will always sick, will always depress, will always weary, will always weak. A man that don't take off his clothes and go out in the sun so the sun shine on him will always have problems. Sooner or later his nature will leave him. The sun is there for a wonderful purpose. Your body need the sun. Your body need the earth. The earth is your divine pharmacy that take away cancer cells, sugar cells, arthritis, all the sickness in your body. The earth will take it away once you connect with the divine. God has placed the connections of your wires underneath your feet. And if you look in your hands, it's also inside your hands. These marks that you're looking at, is not just marks, they're wires. They're wires. They're also underneath your feet. They're wires. These wires connect yourself with the earth at certain temperature because your body has to breathe certain temperature for virtue to transfer to your natural body. Every time the rain fall, the mouth of the earth open to release life to mankind. Then you see the heat sort of come out of the earth. It's time for you to rub honey underneath your feet and walk upon the earth. If you take off your shoes and didn't rub honey underneath your feet and you walk up on the earth, then virtue will immediately gash to your body with an immediate effect and out upon a sudden you start to sneeze. Your body is reprogrammed at too much speed. So the earth will reprogram your heart, reprogram your kidney, reprogram your nerves, and reprogram at a certain speed. And all of a sudden, by night, you start to sneeze, you start to catch cold, you have to blow your nose because the earth releases virtue at too much speed. So you have to put honey underneath your feet, then walk out in the rain or walk out with the rainfall, and virtue will take time to reprogram your body. Then after weeks or two, you feel strong, you feel motivated, your strength will start coming to your body, your body reprogram, the sickness will start creep away from you because your body reprogrammed for greatness. Never connect your body with the earth without you put honey underneath your body, your shoes. God don't live in time. God living forever. And for you to connect with the presence of God, you have to talk to God like you're talking to God in forever. <laughs> Chinese is not from Jamaica. Chinese is from China, isn't it? If you want to talk to a Chinese in his Chinese language, you have to talk as if you're in China. <laughs> but you're talking English. How are you, sir? He said, I don't know what you're talking about. I am not from here. Speak in my language. <laughs> you have to speak his language. You're speaking to God like you're speaking to a man. 
That's your problem. You can't talk to God for the, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. If you can help me, help me. Even if you give me a look, if a look will start, me will satisfy. You can't talk to God like you're begging a man something. Speak to God like God. And speak to man like man. Some of you go on your knees and you, you tell God you're not ready to call upon his name. You tell God forgive you for your born in sin and shape in iniquity. The angels of God immediately start to cut you off. The angel immediately start to rebuke you. Because you're disrespecting the presence of the Almighty. You're disrespecting the hands that make you. How can God make you marvelous, peculiar, wonderful, royal priesthood, and you're now facing the presence of God, saying that you're born in sin and shape in iniquity? You're disrespecting who you are. How can you be the, the president daughter, the royal daughter? And walking in the street that you are a camouflage. You with me, somebody? <laughs> Some of you, you are Range Rover. Plastic is still on your seat. You are top of class. But you approach like you are Carola. Isn't it? So the Range Rover company will start to, to, to turn off to say, she's not supposed to drive Range Rover. She's driving it like she's driving Carola. I see men by Mark of the Beast. And you can't drive Mark of the Beast like how you drive Range Rover. Range Rover, you put on a cruise, you relax, and you go through. Mark of the beast, zing, zing, like you're not a sense, you're a demon. <laughs> so you leave Mark of the beast for demon people. Yeah. I don't know why they call him Mark of the beast, but they call it Mark X, isn't it? What's the Mark of the beast? They, 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 they kill a lot of people, isn't it? You don't see Range Rover kill people that much. You even don't even see Range Rover broke down the street. Because they're top of class. They don't have time for, for waste of time. They cruise them. They, the system will tell you, you have an engine problem. Please stop at 10 miles ahead of you. It tell you, please, your coolant is going down. Don't drive me further. But, but Mark of the Beast don't tell you that. He just want to kill you. If you think I'm joking, just wait till the line is long. The first vehicle run past the line is a market beast. <laughs> Today, stay in your class. Today, stay in your class. If you are a Range Rover, stay in the Range Rover line. If you are Mark of the Beast, stay in the Mark of the Beast line. Life. Life is so amazing. Life brings us precious joy. Precious assets. Precious memories that last forever. But our people are destroying life. Look how beautiful you are today. Look how wonderful you are. And life can look ugly within two weeks. 
Be careful who you connect your life with. Some of you connect your life with tradition. You don't comb your hair. You don't cream your hair. You don't jerry curls. You don't put on one. Falls here. You don't wear balcony. <laughs> you just tradition. So life look ugly. Life look dry. Life look vexed. And you just look machated and pop them. Because tradition tell you, you never fix up. You wear one Halloween dress, cover your whole foot them, like you sweep the earth. And government not pay you to sweep the earth. But when life approach you, life want to show you off. Life say, do you hear? Put on your balcony. Put on your color color. Fix up. And life says, oh, she is wonderful. He is great. Then when you present life like that, life will say, let us go places. Let us meet great people. Let us meet great men, great women, great connections. But when you ugly yourself like that, life says, me, me will never walk with she. You. Life not like some of you. Life don't like some of you. That's why you're so poor and ugly. Because you don't fix up life, you don't make life look good, you don't make life smell nice, you don't make life flashy. So life says, me don't want to walk with her. Some of you, you are walking dead. I wonder how these young girls so pretty in the street and look nice and them are prosper and them are flashing and drive pretty car and Christian people in the church they praise God every day they worship every day they fast every day and they still broke because they don't adapt the principle of fixing up life Imagine you walk out and you smell good and just good. Life said, that's my boy. I'm going to show him off today. I'm going to give him a connection. Life loves to see you. But get up this morning, 10 o'clock, and you're not brush your teeth. Life said, you, I will never come to your house again. <laughs> 10 o'clock. You make 75 call. You meet five persons at the gate and your mouth still smell. Life say you, you make the atmosphere stink, brother. Can't deal with you. Life is a person. Life wants to talk to you. Life wants to communicate with you. Life wants to show you off. Life wants to sport with you. But you have to fix up life for life to walk with you. Some of you, when you fix up, when you look good, when you look nice, even when people not looking on you, you feel eyes on you. You know that they know that you look good. Talk to me, no man. You tell me, you wake up this morning and you sense a human, I tell you, you teach smell. You sense a human that tell you the matter in your eyes them? You sense a human that tell you just, just test your breath? You just move, sir? You never remember to brush your teeth? What type of life you have? When you lift up your arm, you fly them and run out? What type of sense of humor do you have? Nothing turn off a woman when they smell that man. It's like devils in town. If your nerve wasn't moving for a long time and she get to love you, 
We can't promise you, you'll never see her again. Today, my child, fix up life. Make life feel good. Make life want to see you. Let life love you. And once life love you, nothing stop you again. Nothing stop you again. If life truly fall in love with you, nothing stop you again. Today, you don't know which life you'll meet on the other side. You don't know who waiting and and you on the other side. Just like how in my country, in my country we have a set of men, they call them the dead men. Once someone die over this house, they carry their tent, the domino, the table, the bands, and they pitch a tent over your house. And they don't leave until the dead is buried. They dig the grave for you. They kill the goat for you. They cook the manch water for you. They call them the dead set of man in the, in, the, in, the, in the parish. They dig all the graves in the parish. And when there is no dead in the parish, they're miserable. They drink rum all their life. They're dying for someone to die. So people on the next side dying for you to come so they meet you, they cherish you. They say, I, I used to know her on the other side. Your mom dying to have the baby right now. To hug the child. Kiss the child. Buy bubbles to put in the child here. Grandma wants to take away the child from the mom. But grandma always jealous, isn't it? Some of you today, you just live in the great memories of the wonderful child that you meet and decide. Because after a child grow up, they become the demon in your life. They want to take away your house. They want to take away your car. They, they, they steal your money and they run away. You have some dangerous baby that you meet when they grow up. They're terrible. Sometimes you're sorry you meet them, isn't it? But because you meet them already, you can't do better. The devil enter in the atmosphere. I know daughters right now dying for mama to die to get the house. Daughters dying for daddy to die to get the house. Because daddy won't die, she want to put daddy in infirmary. Feed him and Parboil porridge, let him belly swell. I know he have sugar, give him more sugar, kill him quicker. Wicked generation. Feed him from Pepsi, bore a hole in him heart. He's dead in two years. Why you want your, your older family to die? Because you crave. Can you enjoy the last years of the life? Nothing good than when you can get some experience, some knowledge of these old people. They can tell you they married for 35 years. You say, I want to break that record. They can tell you the experience when they were 20 years in the marriage, how the husband will go out and she have go down, cause war to dry him back in, and you say, I'm going to fight for my one too. Give you some props, isn't it? Sometimes you, you get some testimony for marriage for 40 years, but if you ever know the hell they got you to keep that marriage together, Never let go on what you have. Never let go on what you have. Especially you know what you have is good. 
Never let go. Whatever the devil gets from you is because you don't want it. But once you want it, that devil will never get it. Sometimes you have to say, if a war, make it start. But I'm going to fight for this one. I'm going to defend this one. I'm going to defend my turf. But some of you, you just hang in. You want to give up. Can't bother. Can't take it no more. I probably start over. When you start over, it's wicked than the one that you come out of. Don't let the devil take away your joy. Don't let the devil take away your peace. Don't let the devil steal your happiness. Because happiness don't achieve easy. Happiness don't achieve easy. And happiness is not cheap. You with me, somebody? The caterpillar change, change itself, and be that wonderful butterfly. Butterfly change to be a bigger bat. Bigger bat change to be a green lizard. The green lizard change to be a bird. The bird change to be a puss. Puss change to be a cynic. Cynic change to be all different type of things in life. You see how far they're changing? That worm that they're looking at, the next two, three, four times they change could be a rat, could be a goat, could be a cow. You don't know the next change you'll change. Maybe the next change you'll change, you'll be a bird. You'll be an animal. You be a cynic, whatever you change to be in life. Don't let the change affect your joy. All of you that I'm looking at today, and I'm 100% sure, all of you that I'm looking at today, your name is on the house tackle before you're born. <laughs> but the devil have stole all your inheritance. And now you have to fight for it. Fighting yourself to achieve it. Today the fight is over. Today, the fight is over. I give you the key of success. You don't want your neighbor to be your friend. You don't want your sister to be your friend. You don't want your mother to be your friend. Only friend you need is life. I don't need you to help me or assist with me. All I need, I just want life to please with me. Once life pleases with you, everything comes from the earth. You'll be amazed to get a dream tonight. The latter number, the cash part number, the pick five number, the, 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 the give me some of them. I didn't say you have a gamble. I'm just telling you, life will bring you stuff. You walk underneath a mango tree. Life don't want you to pick no mango. Life say, mango tree, chop a mango for my child. Zing! Mango fall. Life love you. Anytime you go underneath a mango tree and you fling 10 stones and the mango drop, walk away. You curse. Something wrong with you. 
When favor is upon your life, everything come easy. Before you even pick up a stone, breeze start blow, and the mango tree just said, take it up. <laughs> or before you reach the tree, you drop it already. There's a woman when I just go to Kingston. She lives next door. This is one of the most dangerous old women in the parish. They said every children that the woman killed. She have a little mango tree in her yard. The rain now fall. The mango now bear. The mango tree now blossom. No mango in the pony tree. And mango always underneath the tree. Said chop for children. Go Kingston, go buy a mango, pies them, whatever she do. And she come put them underneath the tree. And the mango they the tree. Children coming from school, see mango, run, go pick up, start to eat. Belly start run, die next day. Wicked woman. I didn't take it seriously because I was just a, just great from school. I was a schoolboy. I didn't know that this was so serious. No, I know how dangerous these people is. They assigned to hold long every children in the classroom. There used to be a school. They said every time, like you have pep or you have some, but they didn't have pep in those days. They have different type of common entrance. Once that old man go at the school, she don't sell sweetie. She give children sweetie. And she make sure to give the children sweetie who are doing the exam. Because when that day come, school closes, only who are doing the exam come. And everyone that she gives sweetie never pass. The year the woman die, and no one give the children sweetie, everybody pass. You love old people, yes? And you believe they're nice because they're giving your daughter, sweetie? You must be very vicious and you must pay attention. You must cross, especially when your daughter is entering a gate of success. You must be very cross. The day my daughter going to embassy, I don't want my mother to call me. I don't want my, my cousin to, to just say good morning. I'm going with great expectation. I don't want a morning from no one at all. Don't even look at me. After she goes, she gets her visa coming back. Hi, good morning. Didn't see you this morning. I'm going about my great business. Anytime you're entering great success, taking a step forward, you're trying to see nobody. And you're trying to make nobody see you. Not even good morning. That is the morning you know if you have no manners. Let her hug you and wish you luck. Wish me luck. You go hug the tree. I don't want no luck. But some of you, you're going to hug. You're going to kiss. You're going to wrap up. That day, not even your husband you sleep with that night. Tell him to sleep next door or you sleep over mama. Did you know if you're going overseas and you know you have a visa or you're about to get your visa and your wife or your husband not have none, then they're supposed to bring you to embassy. You didn't know that? Man or man, woman or woman, they think womanish, they think manish. You believe I don't have a visa and my wife going to embassy and my visa sugar one day? 
Uh. And the way to embassy, I know I don't have none, and she about to pick up hers, my head starts to say, wonder if she get it, what she got to do. I'm just telling you how a man gonna think. And you yeah, tell her, yes, you want to get it, but in the back of your head, you say, boy, I prefer get it before she, you know. Because I'm just trust how she moving, you know. I'm moving too fast. Am I right, you son? Know? Yeah, think. And the woman is telling, yes, I want you to get it, but in her head, she said, one day if you give me the next one over there. She said, think. So don't let you follow you. Don't even tell her the date. So honey, I'm gonna apply for a visa, but you, know, you never know no more until we get it. Because her head gonna wonder if we're gonna run left her. The man head is the same thing. It's the same spin like the fan. They don't change. So not because you're in love with them or you care for them. There's certain things in life you must keep by yourself. <laughs> but because your tradition and you believe everything lasts forever and you believe this relationship can match up and we are going to last forever, you train your towel. And when you sleep, you sleep dead. I don't know where you come from. But my child, in this church, my people, them just sleep dead. <laughs> Especially when you know you have money hiding in the bed. If you move me, no. <laughs> when my wife have money in the house, I can tell you. Because she pay attention to everything. She on the camera. She, Honey, where you are? But I need me to book you up. That's all we say, isn't it? We're human. We think like human. Before I close, you have dangerous spirits. And let me tell you how this spiritual realm work. If the two of us is enemy, and I destroy him and he die, he go in the spiritual realm, and then he look for someone who close to me. So if this man is close to me, he now take his spirit and enter in this man's spirit. This man is close to me and then use this man to kill me back. That's how the spiritual realm work. If I used to fall in love with this woman and she die, she don't want me to fall in love with no other woman. So if I'm married, she finds someone who is close to my wife or she finds someone who is close to me. And then she used that person to match up the marriage. So spirit in the spiritual realm enter into people's body and then turn the people against you. So you're married to a good wife, you're in love with a nice lady, you're in love with a nice man, you're about to get married, and all of a sudden the woman gets up this morning and just vex with you. You know, do her nothing. You treat her the best and she just move out. The demon enter her body and turn her against you. So many relationships that you see mess up. It's not nobody working. It's the ancestors them and you was at war before them dead. So when them dead, them still a fight against you. If your auntie never love you and you start to build a house, the auntie come back with her friends and stop the house. And you see a black bat always pitching the top of the house or the side. And you, no matter how you fix the house, it never go further. You work on the house for two months and that house don't move. 
and that anti just jump in the workers and turn the workers them against you and they let them become lazy and they don't want to work in the house because the anti don't like you. So most of the time is principalities and power fight you and the people on the earth. So you have to have your life connect with God. So Christian people who call upon the Holy Spirit and who call upon the Holy Ghost, not calling upon God, they're calling upon ancestors, demons, spiritual levers, and those spirits that you call upon, they come and haunt you. That's why Christian people are poor. Because God is not the Holy Spirit, and God is not the Holy Ghost. God is a sensation. He's a fragrance, his power, his life, true time. So, you are 65 years old, and 65 years old of your life, you are praying to the Holy Spirit, and you are praying to the Holy Ghost. That means you never talked to God one time. So you never prayed to God from your bone. No human on earth have never talked to God one time. None of you. You're a man. It's like a dog. A dog is a dog. A dog have dog mindset, isn't it? A dog have dog meditation. So he think like dog, he move like dog, he eat like dog. So his mindset is going to tell him there's a dog God up there, isn't it? So you're going to pray to a dog God, isn't it? It's the same thing like a cow. A cow have a mindset like a cow. He meditate like a cow. So his mindset is going to tell him there's a cow god up there. So he's going to pray to a cow god. We're human. The spirit in us. So because we're human, we eat like human, we talk like human, we meditate like human, we believe there's a spiritual human god up there. So we pray to the spiritual human God. It's not true. There is no spiritual human God. God is real. More than a billion percent real. But God is not the spirit. And God is not the Holy Ghost. God is no ghost. He's not up, isn't it? Ancestors live in the spiritual life. So they become the Holy Spirit and they become the Holy Ghost. But they're not God. So all the time you were praying, you were praying to ancestors. You wasn't praying to God. God don't talk to you, man. I repeat, God do not talk to you, man. So all the vice you hear from your born until now wasn't God. If none of you put up your hand to tell me God talked to you, then I want you to come to me now. So if God talked to you from your bone, can you just get up and come? Anyone of you God talked to from your bone? You believe deacon is God. And come deacon, come here. And I get the opportunity, just one hour, but some people pray all two hours straight. I give, I give it half an hour. I get half an hour to stand up or go on my knee and talk to God. I may look like this. I may can buy a, a, a house with, with 25 million cash. You believe me get up and talk to God face to face and me still weak, me still maga? Mr. Lepres, if you get five minute opportunity to come in front of God and talk to God, your problem is solved for your life. <laughs> just five minutes to just in front of the Lord and you and God is having one and one, one and one. Everything is solved. So all of these pastors, prophets, who said they talk to God this morning and God tell him to tell the church this and God and his lie they tell him. They never talk to God. You talk to God 
this morning as a bishop and they try to put another job? Come on, man, get sense of my people. You talked to God this morning and God didn't tell you that this auntie needs a house? And tell you how to make the auntie get the house? If I talk to God every day and God don't tell me how to get the latter number in wicked to profit room, <laughs> talk to me. Blind people in the church. Crippled people, dumb people, hungry people, poor people, and you talk to God every day and God will tell you how to fix them? We as pastors need to be stoned. I repeat, we as pastors and prophets need to be stoned. We are liars, dangerous men. Manipulating the children of God. If you don't have a poor, you just don't have a poor. But don't talk foolishness. If you can't help people, you just can't help them. But don't talk foolishness. 2012, the mighty prophet, they say he was the powerfulest prophet they ever seen. He prophesied that Jesus is coming in 2012. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Yes. They sell out the car. Pastors start to sell the house. They start to eat and drink healthy. They said Jesus is coming, so we don't, after 2012, there'll be no more earth. Tradition people now start to stop them here. Over 3,000 people baptized in the river. They want to go home to King Jesus. One hour before midnight, 2012, the announcer on the radio said, Jamaica, we are announcing the last hour, isn't it? They put signs on every light post that they could put on around Jamaica. Me, myself, drive down to the highway, because I hear so there's a sign on the mark, Judgment Day. I make sure go, and I couldn't see goods, so I take my phone and video to see if I see the boom on it, if it's a boom of my country. I didn't see any boom on it. But it marked Judgment Day. So you have a sign in every parish to show you Judgment Day. One hour before Judgment Day, Jesus coming at 12 o'clock. Mary and Jesus and the donkey. It's coming. The announcer said, well, we have, we have 40 minutes to go. If you're at work, please get yourself ready. If you didn't baptize, throw some water upon you. So to read the Bible, the Lord is my shepherd. Ask for forgiveness. We only have 20 minutes to go. Be your wife, goodbye. Wife, I called from America and said, honey, me now see you again. <laughs> but me sorry. Me sorry, me did run away. No, two years more over here, me can't see you again on no judgment day. Ten minutes to go. The whole world tense. That time me, I want big old bottle of red wine I drink. Nice, me nice. The prophet run nice. Big old bottle of red wine I drink. I eat on jerk pork. Somebody say yes or nice. Five minutes to go to 12 o'clock, the announcer said, well, this is it. There's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. The prophet uh, already prophesied that next five minutes, Jesus will appear. We're waiting for the thunder to roll, rain to fall, whatever is coming through. But we still hear some dance that keep down the road. Oh, chugga, chugga, chugga. Yeah. After two minutes, the, the announcer on the radio becomes silent. Everybody becomes silent. 
waiting for the clock to strike 12 so we could hear the, the lightning start to flash and Jesus start to blow the trumpet for Jesus to appear. Pastors nervous in the church and then knees with the congregation to lead the congregation to Jesus. Twelve o'clock, the, the alarm and the clock start to alarm. The unknown's eyes was closed. Then he said, I don't hear anything. Then he don't open his eyes and he said, I don't hear anything. And he said, Jamaica, open my eyes. It's, it's, it's 10 seconds after 12. One every clock too fast. Let us give it two minutes after 12 to make sure if it was too fast or too slow or it's just the clock a mad function. After two minutes, they said, Jesus didn't come. So what happened? He didn't come. The church is selling, the church is packed. People go river, go baptize. We're waiting. We give up our car. We give away the house. He don't come. Intercessors start to call to say they get a vision. Jesus tell them that he is on his way for his people. But his people didn't ready, so he turned back. <laughs> He turned back. He said, why he turned back? He said, people don't ready. So he turned back. And these intercessors sort to of come to church on Sunday morning. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, Jesus tell us that he have to turn back because you're not ready. You're not ready? You never want close. So now they're waiting to give a next day for Jesus to come again. My people. You know what I'm preaching to full, full people? I don't want to preach to no full, full people. For some of you, is at the foot of the cross. And if your God is on the cross, I cry. Then something wrong with your head. If the devil so powerful to handcuff God, beat him and put him on that the cross. Then you is a chicken. God, the truth of a fact, no devil in hell cannot and will not touch or even come close to the presence of God. <laughs> I closed in three minutes. The Bible said there was a war in heaven, isn't it? Yeah. The devil fighting against God and his angel. I, prophet Ro, tell you that the Bible lies. And it takes a real man of God, a group man, to tell you the Bible lies. God is more than 500 billion years before time. God is more than 500 billion years faster than him oneself. The devil cannot catch the speed of God, much less to fight him. Look at this. Did you know that there used to be a plane at the airport? If the Concord. When the plane lift up, you will hear the voice of the plane in Spanish tone. But the plane reached Mantico Bay. So the plane is faster than the voice. God is more faster than the plane. So the, the, the presence of God, God is more than 500 billion years before his voice. Oh, can you catch a man? Let me water it down a little bit. The Bible states, which is just, the, which is just chatting, that 1,000 years in your sight is one day for the Lord. 
that means God is 1,000 years in front of man. So man can't talk to God because God is 1,000 years in front of you. That is how the Bible watered it down. I prophet will tell you, God is more than 500 billion years in front of you. You can't talk to God too fast. So for you to catch up with God, you have to live 1,000 years to talk to God before time. None of you have never lived half a day. For half a day in the sight of God is 500 years. Talk to me now. Just half a day. So if you want to catch up to God half a day, you have to live 500 years ahead. Quarter day in the sight of God is 250 years. You can't even go this one. One third of a day in the sight of God is how much? 120, no, 175. Am I right? 125 years, 125 years just to reach God quarter day. You can't talk to the man. And you can't go on 125 years, it's not so easy. You say, move like a robot. Not even more top wide. So God is 1,000 years in front of you according to this book. You know 1,000 years fast? You know how fast that is? Come on now, people, man. I'm trying to get, get, get your brain out of the, the nonsense to the, to what? The reality. God is 1,000 years faster than you. So how you see you talk to him this morning? Isn't that possible? So none of you ever talk to God from your born. Don't make tradition kill you. Tradition trick you. And that's why the only enemy prophet will have is pastors. Because everything that they teach you 50 years of your life, I destroy it in one day. Everything they teach you 40 years of your life, I destroy it in one hour. Greater is he that dwells within you. My people, my people, take off your mask, mask up, take off your mask, free yourself, you come on, no, don't sweat up yourself, take off your mask, mask now, we're again, bring her to the match, take off your mask. So all I want to tell you in every dimension of your life there is someone to meet you. There's a place. Someone to usher you. Before the baby born God prepared milk for the child, isn't it? God prepared a mother to birth the child. You believe God wouldn't prepare a house for you to live in? A car for you to drive, money for you in the bank account, food for you to eat. Before you're born, all of that people. But tradition killing us, tradition destroying us. All of us believe that we want to help each other to survive. If you do good, good will happen to you. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. Look at me. People who grow around and help people always curse. 
It don't sound good. But it's true. People who go around and help people always curse. Please do not throw no stone at me. Just listen to Prophet Word. You have some dangerous men and some dangerous women who disrespect the presence of God and God mad them. God put them down. God destroy them. God let them walk like vagabond. People who rape God people, rob God people, burn down God people. People put them in prison. People, God mad them, put them on the street. Let them walk like vagabond according to the Bible. And you take up your little food and you start to help people who God curse. Oh God curse. No man bless. If you bless them, you curse too. And who God bless? You learn now? So some people out there that wicked to God people. And the power of God said so they have to stay right the same. They have to suffer the consequences. And you have your last three hundred dollar. Are you take a game? You never have money for your life. You be careful who you help. You find out what the person done first while they're down. If a God put them down, or a people are messed with them. You just grow and help people, so curse will take you. For you have some really people, for bad mind God people. Mash up people picnic. That's why I don't just get up and pray for everybody. Or prophesy for to everybody. Because if God curse some of you and me say me I pray for you, the curse will transfer to me. No pastor, God no, no, no curse people, no, no go so. Listen this. You have two generations upon the earth. You have God generation and you have the purpose of man generation. Listen carefully. God want this woman to have four children. After she have four children, she said she want Two more, isn't it? Her purpose was to have four for God. But she wants two more, so she get two more. The four that she have for God, which is God's purpose, when they grow up, they said, um, Mama, I love you. Daddy, I love you. Mama, I want to grow up and take care of you. And they treat you at the best. The two that you want to have and you have, the dirty mama. Dirty girl, I want to see you have money for take away your money. Dirty poopa, a worthless poopa that. And they curse the father, they curse the mother, they rob, they rape, the thief, they commit all different type of things. The power of God curse those generations. So they call them the generation of vipers. So when those generation of vipers meet your daughter or meet your son, they tattoo them up, they bore all over them, they cut them up, beat them up, kick them down, smoke, all different type of things they're doing to your daughter and your son. Because they are the generation of when them step in on one mark of the beast, you know, go hear the ending. Woo! One spin. Tire have to burn. If you tire not burn, then not drive. Generation of vipers. But when a true child of God step in the car, they relax, they lay back, they drive very safe, they're cautious. If you, they, if you come in, they stop, they give you a look at engines true. But when generation of vipers are drive, they not get a chance. Away my gut, I broke out the wall. I would them them wrong. Generation of vipers. Even when you want to make peace with them and you want to pay them off and say, Sir, I'm sorry, they won't kill you. Generation of vipers, the anointing of God, curse them. 
mash them down. And you have to boy, you pray for them. That's why most intercessors in the church are poor and cursed. Because they pray for everybody. So a generation of curse transfer to them. If you check the powerful intercessors in the church, they're the poverty person in the church. Those people used to go around and pray for people in the hospital and those stuff. Look what happened to them after. So if we take them, some of them blind, some crippled, all different type of things. Why? They don't know who to pray for. If you don't know who to pray for, leave people business alone. Is not every shop you go buy. But people have said that they shop a rub on them coconut oil for sale, a rub on them flour for sale, a rub on them bread for sale, and you're gone with your wanga gut gone by. You get big gut. Everybody buys a shop, I got big gut. Every meter their shop pays a buy. Uh, Mama out the door early morning and spring can look up aisle. And in short pan. And in little lizard and eighty decks. And you go and go and buy. Hmm? Go buy a supermarket. Then you can sprinkle some more things. Talk to me now, man. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, you know. You have some good shop who them sell them nice things and then you know, do not want to have the look of olive oil. But you have some real shop. When you walk in, you can smell the garlic and something. You can smell the supper and mix up this. But you have the nice shop difference. You now get me wrong for me. You know, some of you have shop. Now stone me now. Don't no stone profit rule. We have a powerful delivering service in Maypin tomorrow. I want all of you to prepare to come where we break the curse of poverty. You have your family overseas that they don't have the green card. I want to let them send you a hundred dollar. US bring it to the church with our green kerchief. Green pen, or just bring something green. Write the name on it with the money, place it on the altar. Release some green cards. You have your family in England, America is the same thing. Canada, you want to release the red book, the black book, whatever. Just bring the color of the country that you want to release, or the color of the, 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 the book. Maybe a black kerchief or whatever. Make we break the yoke of poverty so your people can get the permanency so they can come back and look for the generation, isn't it? But you have some anti overseas for years that they can't come home. 20 years, 15 years, 10 years. Can't get the opportunity to come back to the family because they're going to rescue mission. End up stuck. They want to see mama again. They want to see daddy again. Let us release them in, in permanent green cards and permanent books, isn't it? So we'll see most of you in Maypen tomorrow. I know most of you have to go to work. But our prayers will be with you. Or shall you in great places? Please stay focused. Please be positive. Stay holy in Christ. Please be very smart. Pay attention to life and make life pay attention to you. We will not have any deliverance service today, but I'll pray for some of you. Let's pray you up. Because we have a lot, I have over 1,000 numbers to call. Some some of them making nice profit, don't call me. But you know the profit of a handful, isn't it? So I want to 
run off at least two or three hundred number tonight. Then by twelve o'clock I start to work on some cases. So I have your whole evening. Somebody said lock. Prophet have it lock, isn't it? So bear with me. Our church trip is coming up. It is a free trip. All you need to do is come with your beach suit. We will tell you the date as Pastor Chin announced the date. We will tell you. We will prepare up to 10 buses for you because I know it's going to be a very hectic one. We already have the staff trip already they go to Brazil. They have a wonderful time. So we don't show if we want to bring it to Rosel or we want to bring it to Dalvin Cove or Dungeon River Fall. But we'll also try to choose where we want to go for this day. My power that God plays upon my life will flow through this atmosphere. So all of you be blessed. Job opportunity, work permit overseas and programs. Person will get their own business, promotions, improving building houses, improving getting a career, CXC, diploma, PhD, going to university. We're all praying for you, isn't it? But I want you to value your life as a close. Value who you are as from today. I want you to very hard to talk to. I want you to let people say the body in the nice, you know? You know, talk to nobody. I don't want you to be any common child no more. I want you to be uncommon. Don't just shake any anyone hand because they know you. Just wave good morning and go. Don't you know hug hug every day. You with me, somebody? Stop shake shake hug hug people hand. You don't know who is generation of vipers from who. You don't know who the devil working to. So a wave is enough, isn't it? A not, not enough head is enough. But I can't touch you today. I want to be in my power today. I want to be in my glory today. So I wave to you. Especially when you know you can't defend yourself. If spirit and fruit to you. Stop, stand up and talk for conversation for hour. That don't benefit you nothing. Some of you depend on what's up for the whole day. You don't get reward when night come. More a mix up. Then say Tanisha say. Then say Nicole say. And she text me. I can show you a text. Day. Come on. Better you go on your, your YouTube, watch a little preaching, something that connect with God, watch some gospel music. But focus. Focus, be positive, be courageous. Stay head on with the power of God. Don't mess up what God give you. And don't let no one mess up what God give you. If somebody trigger you off, run off. Don't stay and start cuss with the same person to trigger you off more. Let your peace remain your peace. Let your joy remain your joy. Let no one enter your world. Let your world be very small. So what happened to you is you cause it. Don't blame the man to hurt you. Is you cause him to fall in love with you. Don't blame the woman to run and leave you. Is you cause it. You should know who you fall in love with. And I told you before, love only starts at 70 years old when you're almost crippled, you're almost blind, you're moving like a robot. You're going nowhere. Then you can fall in love with somebody. You're too young to fall in love. People will rob you. Talk to me, no man. (laughs) 
How oh, you, you can see a pretty girl at 30 years old and fall in love with her? After five years, after other person going to see her, things going to change. She's going to go to America, Canada, Europe, Japan, England. She's going to see different opinions, different visions, different ideas. She's going to change one day. Is only salvation lost forever, according to all people? For, for me and you, we are friends, isn't it? But love don't start yet. If I tell you I love you, it's shadow, isn't it? It's my little shadows I'm working on. It's commercials. But the real love that I have for you when the both of us reach 70 years old, you're 69, I'm 72. Then you're not running no more. Nobody no want you. Your teeth them are rotten. Your eyes them are shut up. You, nobody no want you. Then I can say, honey, one of us soon gone now. So I'm going to put your name on my house tag. Put your name on my car tag. One of us soon gone. Nobody no look you. You put them old. You wishy washy. Nobody no want me. Let us stay together, isn't it? But the woman, her eyes are bloom, her lips are soft, she have hips, and you're going to put her name on your, your house title. When she leaves, she cut those in two. I'm just recapping things. So today, all of you must be smart. My son, you have a bank account with 350000 I'm just talking, not, not representing. Don't put no woman in your bank account. But when you change your 50,000 done, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> if she old, her teeth them gone, her, her eyes them closing down, she move like a robot. If she move too fast, she have a catcher. I say, honey, I put your name in my, my, my bank account. We're not going nowhere. We're two of us old. Nobody not want you. You can't put up your foot on the grill no more. <laughs> you smile not attract nobody no more. You're old. Isn't it? Am I talking the truth? Yes. <laughs> smile your woman. When you smile your whole man, you really want to see you. Me afraid of you. You'll never get your name on my title. Look crazy. <laughs> the boy is a pretty one. Eh? You'll, never, you'll never get, you'll never see my bank account. The boy is a pretty one. Eh? When she smiles, the whole man will want to see her, isn't it? So by she 40, maybe she go to England, she different environment. I'm in Jamaica. She says, yeah, look, let me go back to him. And you still have me, me $20 million apartment. Sooner or later, she flew back to Jamaica, divorced. The judge said, well, um, Mr. Rowe, she have a child for you, you know. So the apartment is hers, not even she. Hers. The grandpa me a, a cry when Sarah Rice talked to Jesus. Why I'm saying this because I know some of you are very stupid. I mean, of course, I may tell you, some of you are very stupid. Love makes you do the darnest thing. And some of you have already paid for it already. Some of you right now I'm speaking, fighting for one house. Some of you right now I'm speaking, fighting for the one car. I will help you buy a car, no problem. You need money. I will help you buy it. But when I buy mine, I can't put your name on it. So mother have, father have, blessed is a child that have spoon. So as a man, if you're giving the woman a car, buy a car giver. As a woman, if you're giving the man a car, buy a giver. But you buy one, he buy one. Say so both of you even, isn't it? No war, no fight. If you're gonna leave, you take your one, me take my one, we're gone.
The truth of a fact. No one go in relationship to live. Am I right? That's why you're foolish. I go in relationship to live. You know why? Anytime I find out Anytime I find out, God, he knows. <laughs> but you know one leave. You just feel the boy, it's going to last forever. It do last. We relationship do last. Don't get me wrong. But some of you, trust me, you're going to treat if you don't learn. So please be sensitive from the beginning to know what you're getting yourself into in the next five years. If you meet a woman where nyam 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 next five years, you'll become mampi. Look into it from now. So next five years, you don't complain because you didn't know she didn't nyam nyam Talk to me now, man. You meet a woman now, and every month she's going to the doctor, so sicky, sicky, belly, 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 heady, heady, heady. You know she's a sick woman, you take up. So you know the next five years, you prepare. Past time sick, you never know. You pay attention. You know say the woman treat them no good. The next two years, you know how much more they are sick. You pay attention. Be prioritized in Africa. There's a place. Me aloe vera. There's a place. Come up, you demon. Come up. Vomit up every demon. Vomit up every demon. Fire! Come up. 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 Come up. Come up. Fire! Come up. Come up. Come up. Come out to her. 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 Out. 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 Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. Come up. 
Come up, you demon. Come up. Come up. Loser. 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 Talabasato. Talabasato. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. You won't jump. Get up. Come, come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out. Take your flight. Take your flight. There's a place. Take your flight. a place where people like you. There is a place where people like Release her now. Switch your hands towards everyone. Release her now. You demon. Release her now. Release her now. Release her. Release her now. Release her now. You demon. Release her now. Release her now. Ebo Shadabas. There's a place. Ease up a little. Ease up. Just, just a little. Just ease up a little. Come, I want you to vomit. You must vomit. Drink.
Come up. Please the pan close to her. She can start vomiting time now.
Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals us. His name is more powerful than cancer, heart disease, or any disease you can name. Whatever your need, He's here to heal you. Let's confess Him as our healer as we sing, You are the God that heals me.
know in the name of Jesus. We have everything in you. And just as we've said about him as Jehovah Jireh, our light. He is Jehovah Rock, the God that heals us. His name is more powerful than cancer, heart disease, or any disease you can name. Whatever your need, he's here to heal you. Let's confess him as our healer as we sing, You are the God that healed me.
name is more powerful than cancer, heart disease, or any disease you need. Whatever you need, he's here to heal you. Let's confess him as our healer as we sing, You are the God. You're going to let you go now. You're going to let you go now. There's no one to hold on to. You're in God now. Just you're in God now. Trust God, isn't it? What will be your next step? What will be your next step? Is it? What will be your next step? Just God. Will you? Just God now. Just God now. Just God. Come out. Come out. Free your two hands. Look at me. Come to me. Come to me. Don't touch. Don't touch. It's up here. It's up here. It's young God. Let go. It's young God. 
have to be you and God. It must be you and your Savior. Come to me. You're moving too fast. Just relax. Relax. Don't touch. Relax. Depend on a pair. Depend on a pair. It's you. Just you and God. Just, just slow. Focus on me. Focus. Focus. Just focus. Come. You won't fall. You won't fall. Let go. There's nothing to hold on to. Think about God. Stop here. Come to me. Come now. Sit right here. Sit right here. Water. Water. 